How's it going guys? Welcome back to my video channel. Today I will be showing you a tutorial on how to install a trunklet spoiler and I will be using my Chrysler 300S as an example. So the first step in the process is basically cleaning the car. You want to take any residual dirt off the car before we actually prep the surface to uh, mount the spoiler. I will definitely focus the washing power on the actual surface where you're going to mount it. Alright, so I'm pretty much done for this process. So basically next, I'm going to just wipe off the surface, make sure it's dry, take some isopropyl alcohol, and just prep the surface. Alright guys, after you get done washing the car and taking some of the grime away, you want to take a microfiber towel, wipe off the surface, and make sure it's dry. So after that's done, you can take some isopropyl alcohol and use it to take the residual dirt away and have a nice clean surface. And just do long streaks and make sure you don't scratch the paint. So basically that's going to clean any contaminants off the surface. And make sure you kind of use a different area of the microfiber tile also. All right guys, so the next step of the, of the process is basically just aligning the trunk spoiler onto the trunk lid and make sure the fitment's perfect and kind of place it where you like. And I'm going to be using some 3M masking tape and taping around the edges so I know where to place it exactly before I actually apply the double-sided tape to the spoiler. So basically right now I'm just getting the placement right on where I want it exactly. I want to make sure it's even on both sides. So I want to rush this step of the process. This is probably the most important step of the process is getting that alignment right. So that looks about right. So that thing is resting on there no problem. So I'm going to take my 3M masking tape and tape around this edge so I know where to place it exactly. All right, so we're gonna go to the next side over here. Basically, I'm just marking my edges where I want the spoiler. So another thing to keep in mind is exactly where the contact points are at, where it's actually gonna be touching. So in our particular case, everything, everything that's flat here we will apply the three end double sided tape to. All right guys, so after we kind of test fitted our spoiler onto the trunk lid and marked it off with tape on the edges to know exactly where you want to place it, we're going to take our three end double sided tape and place it on the flat surface of the actual lip spoiler. So the stuff is double sided, just peels off. And basically I'm going to follow the contour of the line And this particular tape I got off eBay for $10 delivered to my house. So after you're done doing that, you just cut off the residual material. And you're also going to do the same thing on the smaller sections here where you have clean surface area. Now this kit that I got off eBay, it does come with the mounting hardware, but I'm not going to go through the trouble of building my trunk lid and possibly messing that up. So this is going to be a more non-destructive way of installing these. And they also supply a small strip of the 3M double-sided tape, but I don't know if I'm going to use that today. All right, guys, so after you applied your 3M double-sided tape, I applied it on a flat surface here. I'm also going to do it up here, but I see a little bit of dirt on there, so I'm going to take my isopropyl alcohol and my detailing microfiber towel and just run that across to make sure all the contaminants are lifted off so we get perfect adhesion. All right, guys, so... I'm gonna take my, my remaining 3M tape, apply it here also where it folds over. Perfect. It's 
run your fingers across. All right, so I'm gonna take a scissor and just cut off the excess material. You don't have to be perfect with this, but so basically that's the main idea right there. So after I'm done doing that, I'm gonna take my rag, just kind of run it across so we get a, a nice flat adhesion. So the, the next trick to this process will be taking these ends right here, barely peeling these ends off and folding them over. So this might be a little bit difficult, so you might use the edge of your scissors, get that going. All right guys, so basically the next step of the process is basically peeling off your edge right here. Basically you peel a little bit off and you fold it over, okay? So basically the first point of contact will be our ends. Once we get that mounted exactly where we want, then we can just peel everything off from the edge here. So that's done there. So this process is kind of pain in the ass. These edges won't fold open. All right guys, so after you apply your 3M tape to the actual spoiler itself, you want to peel off the ends slightly. Uh, that's going to be your first point of contact onto the actual trunk lid. I'm going to roughly place it on a car. And once I've done that, I'm going to just peel these edges off and it's on there. So it's right there where I want it to be. I'm gonna move it slightly over. Okay, that looks good there. I'm liking that. Basically now you can peel it away. Press down there, and we just have this part here. Come up a little bit. All right, guys, it's on there. So basically after that's done, you just wanna make sure you press it down really good, apply some force to it, and we're pretty much done. This is how it looks. Definitely adds a nicer look to the end of the car. And this only cost me a hundred bucks painted right off eBay, delivered to my house, tax-free. Gives it a sexy look. Uh, uh, uh. All right, guys, we are done with the trunk lid spoiler. So this is an SRT8 style spoiler I got off eBay. Uh, painted and delivered to my house for free, all for $100. Only extra cost I spent was getting a microfiber, microfiber tile. I can't talk, but basically I spent 100 bucks for the spoiler. The tape was about $10 and the isopropyl alcohol was like 50 cents and the microfiber tile was like five bucks so that's all i spent on this install overall it gives my chrysler 300 a really nice look a more finished off look with that being said guys make sure you subscribe to my channel this is my first video so i'm looking for a thumbs up make sure you uh, comment make any suggestions for uh for future videos and yeah subscribe to my channel and i'm out